Chapter 2. The monster grabbed him. Koki screamed and clawed at him. What do I do now? Koki thought. Just then, a dart came from the creature's mouth and hit Koki's neck. Koki woke up to find himself in a small cage. Koki looked around and found two bowls with water and something that looked like rabbit droppings. Ooh, what is that stuff? Do they expect me to eat that? Koki thought. He looked around once more. And this time, he noticed an old rocking chair. In it was the thing that had taken him. Who are you and what do you want from me? Koki cried. I want your blood. The thing said in a raspy voice. Why? Koki was confused. Couldn't the monster just kill him instead of taking him? I used to be just like you little one. Before she cursed me with this dreadful look and hunger. The monster replied. Who is she? Koki asked. A very vile thing she is. A witch. She killed my family when I was young. About your age. She took me and put this collar around my neck. It controls me. But I have myself right now. She is sleeping. Koki looked at the collar. It was red and had a small little ball on it with a dragon's eye. I could help you get the collar off. Koki suggested. No. Do not take the collar off. Whoever touches it will be controlled by her too. Trust me. I know how to take a collar off without touching it. How? I am magical. Here, let me see what I can do. Koki lifted up his paw and waved at the collar. The eye on it turned to face him. The eye hissed, then melted. The thing that had taken Koki was amazed. How did you do that? I am not controlled by the witch anymore. My name is Shadow. Right after Shadow had said that, the witch came barging in. She had a pointy hat, dead skin, brown hair, pointy gloves and shoes and pimples and sits all over her face. Hello, Ms. Ugly, Koki whispered. 